Hi, and welcome to the update from March 2021, and what a month it has been for news around the property market. There have been a lot of announcements just at the end of March, and here is the video to walk you through the basics. Whatever media you're watching this on, comment below on what you think the outcome is gonna be from the government's announcements on the 23rd of March. Are they going to call the market? Are they gonna do nothing? Were they too far for investors? I wanna hear your comments. First up, the bright line test has been moved. If you buy an existing house after today and rent it, if you don't live in it the whole time you own it, that property is going to be subject to a 10 year bright line test, meaning that if you sell it within 10 years, you'll have to pay tax on the capital gains that you get. The same applies for new builds, but new builds are only subject to a five year bright line test. Now there is a bit of leeway if you don't live in the house for the first couple of months after you buy it or you have to move out a couple of months beforehand, but all in all you must live in it from purchase to sale, otherwise it will be subject to those bright line tests. Secondly, and this I think is the big one, interest rate deductions for investors. So going forward you're not likely to be able to claim the interest from your mortgage against the income from your rental properties. Previously, if you had $30,000 of rental income, $20,000 of interest, you would only pay tax on the $10,000 difference in that rental income. From going forward, you will probably pay tax on the whole $30,000 rental income, in other words, all of your rental income, and from that net income, you'll have to pay the interest. So that's quite a big deal for investment property owners. At the moment, the government is consulting as to whether you can claim the interest expenses for new build purchases, but there's no clear definition yet. What it probably means is that going forward, rental investors are going to need to get hold of an accountant because the calculation for the next four years as they phase in income tax for existing rental add on income tax for new rentals and exempt potentially income tax for new build rentals will mean the calculation for your tax is no longer a simple percentage. It is going to be a complicated formula and you're going to want to get a professional involved to make sure you're paying the correct amount of tax. And finally, first home buyers got a little bit of a snack but not really a big one. First home loans and first home grant caps were raised for both the purchase price that you can purchase for and the income cap, the maximum amount of income that you can earn to get those grants and loans. Now, they were only a small movement because the first home grant and first home loans were always only meant to be for the lower quartile of home buyers. They weren't meant to encompass everyone. So that's been frustrating for first home buyers. But there is a little bit more room there. You can earn about ten dollars to $20,000 more, depending on whether you're a single earner or a couple. And most areas of New Zealand moved about fifty dollars to $100,000 in value up, being the maximum that you can buy. It'll be worth taking a look at Kainga Aura's website to see whether the area that you live in has changed and what the maximum cap of the purchase price is now in your area. So will the government announcement make a difference in cooling the market? There's a lot more pressure on investment buyers with income tax and the Brightline test moving and a little bit of release for the first home buyers. They can now purchase a little bit more with their first home loans and first home grant. Is it enough to cool the market? It certainly sent a shockwave through the market. A lot of people are discussing it. A lot of people are concerned about that income tax for investment properties. It's likely to take a bit of the FOMO out of the market. And one thing that we can say is that any lever that they pull that isn't interest rates means a delay in when interest rates might rise. So these levers that they're using now to cool the market means they don't have to raise the OCR or mortgage interest rates to use that to cool the market. And that's good news for existing homeowners and first home buyers. Really keen to hear your comments below. Let me know what you think. Cheers. Thank you.